Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is quite a highly requested video because it's actually a routine video. I'm always asked about these and um, you know what our daily routines are like so I thought I would kick it off with our bedtime and evening routine. So I'm going to start it from tea time with what we're having for dinner and things like that because that's a big part of our evening routine and I've also got a little giveaway at the end. So if you are a bookworm like me and you're into books then definitely keep Keep watching until the end but without further ado let's get cracking so to start off the evening we are making tea at the moment and normally I will let the kiddos watch telly for a little bit while I'm cooking because obviously when you're near a hot oven or you're chopping things with knives I don't always want them around me and um, especially this one who is wearing her brother's hat at the moment so for tonight we are having chicken tingers for tea and they are like an old El Paso box you know where you get them all in one thing and you just add chicken and things like that so that's what we're having and the chicken is all done and we're just waiting about half an hour for Mark to get home and we normally eat as a family around half five every single day and I'm really really keen on us all eating together as is Mark because I feel like it's a great time to bond particularly when Bill's been at school all day and Mark's been at work all day because I feel like we all get to chat and reconnect and I also think it shows a really good attitude towards food as well because the kids are more inclined to eat what we eat then and try new things. Great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. It's been a now I put some cheese on there. But no avocado. I still don't like avocado. Probably I like it when I'm six. Exactly. You think you'll like avocado when you're six? Yeah, I'm not that old to eat it. Yeah. Oh, really? Your sister likes it though. Yeah, sometimes I, I don't like everything. Oops, oops, oops. You guys don't like any every food. No, we don't like everything, that's true. So for dessert, the kids are having a nectarine each and earlier on today we actually baked these Dory cupcakes so Bill is having one of those. Daisy's not going to have one because she's already had one today and I don't want to overload her little baby body up with too much sugar. So it's now about ten past six and at this point Mark takes the kids upstairs and he takes them up for a bath while I clean up after dinner, put everything in the dishwasher, wipe down the table, sweep the floor, that kind of thing. Now, the kids only have a bath every other day, and we do this because Daisy's a baby and her skin is quite sensitive naturally, and then Bill has actually got quite sensitive skin generally, so we try not to overload it with soaps and products and things like that, unless they have got particularly dirty that day, so maybe it's been warm and we've been playing in the garden, but today is just bath time, and I dash around downstairs and tidy up as quick as I can in the kitchen so I can go and join them. Are you going to get ready for bed? Yeah. Good boy. Because Bill is five, I can usually rely on him to get ready for bed on his own. So I've laid his jammies out and you're going to get ready now, aren't you? Yeah. Come on then. Quick, quick, or you'll catch your cold. And Mark is usually in charge of getting Daisy ready for bed. And it's a nice sort of time for those two to just be daddy and daughter without the rest of us being noisy and getting in the way. And then once they are ready for bed, it's teeth brushing time. Um, we use adults toothpaste as recommended by our dentist. And I honestly think that using this from the get-go also stops that awkward phase from baby toothpaste to adult toothpaste where it's like minty and quite strong because these two are fine with it now. And you're really good at brushing your teeth, aren't you? So once the kids are all bathed and ready for bed and they've brushed their teeth, we tend to have a little bit of time just as a family to sort of wind down, cuddle up on the sofa and we tend to do two things most nights. One of those is that we take one of Bill's requests to watch an old video of ours. He really, really enjoys doing this, particularly any videos from our holidays. So we actually watched uh, a video from when we went to Walt Disney World tonight, which was really lovely. And then one thing we do with our fail because I think it's so so important to children as they're developing and growing up and I think it's a really lovely thing to do as a parent as well and that is read books and we go to the library every couple of weeks and we pick a big selection um, so sometimes we'll read a library book. Bill is actually doing the local library's summer reading challenge at the moment which is always something nice because it helps him to sort of develop his reading and spelling skills as well and we also have a huge selection of books 
books at home and the book that we're reading tonight is Good Night Everyone by Chris Horton and this is a new release uh, from Walker Books and as I'm sure you'll agree it's absolutely stunning and perfect for bedtime. The theme is actually sleep and going to bed anyway so it's a perfect one to wind down to before bedtime and we love to read to both children together because again it's another thing that we like to do as a family to sort of bond and have a bit of time together. So this little man is very very easy to get to sleep because he's a good boy aren't you and you just you have one last wee before bed don't you and you get in bed and you just get to sleep and you've always been pretty good like that haven't you yeah and daisy normally just cries yeah it's very very true but more on daisy in a second no 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 buddy love you love you so as your brother said you are slightly more problematic aren't you to get to sleep but she's in her grow bag and um, this is just a lighter summer tug um, and she's got her jammies on as well and she's had some ibuprofen because she's actually got a cold at the moment and it's just to give her a bit of relief while she goes to bed and we might give her some snuffle babe as well on her chest just to help with any snot and things like that because it's not nice is it but daisy always likes to have a cuddle with me before bed she's quite funny about it if I don't put her to sleep she gets really fussy and she can be up and down when she's poorly when she's teething or she's not well she can be a little nightmare to get to sleep and then every other day she's absolutely fine so fingers crossed we get you down on time yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is sweet tea love you uh -uh. oh good girl and cuddle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go night. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Night night, baby. I love you. Good girl. So now the kids are in bed, that is the end of our bedtime evening routine I hope you enjoyed it. Now because you've stayed until the end I've actually got five copies of Good Night Everyone by Chris Horton from Walker Books to give away and as well as that we've also got five special edition Good Night Everyone print to give away as well which would look gorgeous in a nursery or a kid's bedroom. So if you would like to enter to win all you need to do is make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below telling me what your little one's favourite book is and we will be announcing the winners very very soon so thank you so so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye